I was blessed to be on this show. I feel like we all were. We, 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 not every time when you get on a series do you truly enjoy working with everyone. My fellow co-stars. They make me cry, they make me laugh, they make me piss myself. They pick me up when I'm down. They read poetry to me. I read poetry to them. We hold hands, we dine together, we act together, we fight together, as in on camera. What a dream. The thing about us, who we are, and, and the relationship that we've made over the years is that we can be super silly and weird and crazy, but we, we also do know each other really well and know when you know, the other is going through something, and so we do try to lend a, an ear or whatever. And I've kept in touch with pretty much everybody through the years. And you know, we won't see each other for, for months or sometimes years, and then we see each other and it's like you just pick straight back up, like you do with really good friends. I mean, Kylan and I have been best friends since we were like 12 or 13. We lived together, and so I see him the most for sure. Colton and I actually <laughs> lived together for a about a year and a half at my house. And Shelly and I both love to dance. Uh, Crystal moved to New York. I mean, it was it's just wild seeing how we all moved on with our lives, but we, we definitely still make time to see each other. Yeah, yeah, I'm a stand-up comedian, and uh, what really happens, here's the truth, okay? A lot of these people that work on this show, they're just, they're full of shit. Can you say shit? Yeah, they're full of shit. So I don't see them for years, and they go, oh, man, when can I come see a show? When are you, when are you performing in LA? I perform in LA all the time, okay? They say this every time I see them, and then what, what happened? Anyone want to guess what happened? They don't come see a show, okay? So I'm on to it, I'm on to it. This is like a big family. Big families say things like, I'm gonna come see a show and never come see a show. When he did ask me where I live, I think he was trying to gauge whether or not I could have come to see some of his shows. But, Russell comes to see my shows. Russell see me at the Comedy Store, Jeff Davis has seen me at the Comedy Store, Jeff Davis has seen me at the Laugh Factory, Jeff Davis and uh, Tyler Posey has seen me at the Improv, uh, and even Ian Bowen came to see me in Burbank. So those are my friends. Everybody else. Uh, I have not seen Orny's shows. I haven't. I haven't gone and seen Orny's shows. I do think he's a funny bleep, bleep, bleep. Can I say it? We're saying movie, right? He's a funny I mean, I think we all know that. But no, I've never been to one of his shows. Stop saying you're going to come see a show and then not come see a show. I have been here since day one and I've watched the kids grow up over the years and while they've got mothers and fathers of their own, it's, it's sort of like I felt that kind of paternal thing because I would watch them and I'd be like, oh, don't do that or, oh, do that. I guess the progress that people have made in terms of just growing up is wonderful. I'm in love with my castmates, and they just keep getting better and better and better. Ian's been lovely. I call him daddy. Really makes him mad. I think the relationship between the, the kids and the adults is hilarious on screen because off screen, we're all just big kids. We're all actors at the end of the day. The youthful energy is in no short supply no matter how old anybody is on the set. <laughs> Done. Finished. We'll post it. We'll, uh, we'll fix it. Oh, wow. <laughs>